Pfizer is concerned that stalling on COVID-19 vaccination booster could lead to nursing home outbreaks, but FDA and the CDC say vaccinated long-term care residents are in the clear from COVID-19 for now. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, July 14th, 2021. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. There is free new education for CNAs for epilepsy and Parkinson's available through the NACA website. Thank you to Synovian Pharmaceuticals for providing access to Epilepsy Allies and Parkinson's Pals to CNAs across the country. Simply go to the link in the description to get instructions on how to get started today. Executives with drug maker Pfizer are worried nursing homes could be at risk of future COVID-19 outbreaks if they wait too long to administer booster shots, according to a new report by the Washington Post. The company's concern stems from worries about the COVID Delta variant and its known data showing immunity against the disease declines among vaccinated people over time, specifically in the elderly. Quote, Pfizer has publicly cited data from Israel showing that its vaccine remains effective against the Delta variant in preventing hospitalizations and serious illness, but has declining effectiveness at preventing milder cases. The company is most focused on whether boosters are needed for the elderly and most vulnerable, the article states. Pfizer officials are meeting with U.S. health officials this week about the need for a COVID vaccine booster shot. The company plans to seek regulatory approval for a third dose 6 to 12 months after people complete the two-shot regimen. Confusion mounts from our earlier story as, according to federal health officials, long-term care residents and staff fully vaccinated against COVID-19 don't need booster shots anytime soon. The FDA and CDC on Friday issued a joint statement reaffirming the effectiveness of the currently available COVID-19 vaccines. The statement comes after drug maker Pfizer on Thursday said the effectiveness of its coronavirus vaccine is waning and it's picking up efforts to develop a booster shot against variants, as mentioned earlier in this program. The agencies, however, argued that virtually all current COVID-19 hospitalizations and deaths are among those who are unvaccinated. Quote, the United States is fortunate to have highly effective vaccines that are widely available for those age 12 and up. People who are fully vaccinated are protected from severe disease and death, including from the variants currently circulating in the country, such as Delta, the agency said. They continued, people who are not vaccinated remain at risk. Federal health officials added that those who are fully vaccinated don't need a booster shot, quote, at this time, and the entities are currently engaged in a science-based rigorous process to consider whether or when a booster might be necessary. Quote, this process takes into account laboratory data, clinical trial data, and cohort data, which can include data from specific pharmaceutical companies, but does not rely on those data exclusively, the joint statement said. Officials added, quote, we continue to review any new data as it becomes available and will keep the public informed. We are prepared for booster doses if and when the science demonstrates that they are needed. Long-term care residents and staff are expected to be top candidates for a COVID-19 vaccine booster if and when the shots are deemed necessary. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week and I'll see you on Wednesday.